What's up you guys, it's VDX. We finally have a new trailer. It's been like 10 days since the last one and everybody on Twitter is complaining nonstop. Where's our trailer? Where's our trailer? Especially over the past three days because they were like, we're going to do the trailers weekly. So there was a bit of misalignment or mistiming and people were very upset, but we finally have it. That's what matters. Uh, it wasn't the Yoshimitsu trailer we expected, but we got Leo. So I'm excited to check it out. I have a couple friends who are like diehard Leo mains. I think Leo looks really good in the new engine. It does a lot of favors for their hair. Whoa, okay, a string into crouch dash. Oh my goodness, there's so many stances already. There's so many stances! 1-4 into can- oh, wow. I feel like we'll be doing a lot of rewinding. Okay, whiff punish. Another stance cancel, mid combo. Oh, Leo has an install or like a, you know, like a starburst, like a buff. That's cool because they used to have a key charge version of that anyways. So it's nice that it's kind of like standardized, I guess. Why are they so freaked out by Azucena? And they understand each other German to Spanish. Counter hit hell sweep. Deep burst. Counter hit. Are you serious? While standing four, one plus two is a heat engager. Another heat engager off a of punish. Game K. Oh, I think that's a heat smash. Okay, so two two heat smashes? A low in the stance. There's the install move. Normally you key charge for that. Down two launches super high. I thought down two was like a like they not what the grapple hook? <laughs> yeah, that, that was some funny rage art. What? What in the world? Okay, let's check that out. There was so much going on in this trailer. Whoa. Okay, so like I said, I have a couple friends who are diehard Leo mains. Um, and luckily for me, they've already done a lot of analysis on this trailer. So they sent me over some thoughts and notes. So we're going to go through those. It'll keep us a bit more informed. Um, thank you so much to Pepper Beef 2 Spicy. He put together this list. Uh, I'll leave his Twitter and his YouTube in the description. He's been a great community member for a long time. Leo specialist and took a good look at this character and took notes. So we're going to go through the notes. Um, first things first. 39. New extension forward 2 to high kick. That's what we see here. Right? Uh, I'm going to put it at half speed. Normally I would like to do this frame by frame thing. But um, it starts buffering and it doesn't really get the point across very well. So we're going to do half speed. Alright. So. Forward 2. 3. Or four two four right into crouch dash the second hit counter hits here but let's first look at the first note he said uh 14 frame block punish gives four two two a mix up might be faster and is the crouch dash here automatic or manual my guess is that it's manual uh, automatic crouch dashes um i guess they're not totally uncommon because of what Jin can do now or like the forward four forward isn't automatic, but it's like locks you in the stance, right? You can't just wave dash out of it. So I doubt it's automatic, but my belief is probably not cancelable. They seem to be really like interested in forcing you into stance or making you commit to the stance if you decide to go for it. QCF 2-1, Jin gets counter hit for hitting a button. This is Bach, a new heat engager that spikes them into the ground so you get a guaranteed stomp. Top kick. 1-4 into KNK. This is insane. Immediate mix-up potential off of the 10 frame punish. This is a common Tekken 8 thing. A little concerning. It forces a lot of mix-ups and Leo having such uh, strong mix-ups off of the immediate low frame punishes is pretty scary. So anyways, KNK. Uh, we're also wondering again, is this stance forced or can you choose to go into it? It looks like the animation is happening pretty early. So you might be forced or you, you know, do an input really early. This new KNK4 is a power low and she goes into crouch dash. One, four, low, crouch dash. While standing four. The, the move is safe now. While standing four is now safe. This, now given later in the trailer, we see it as a knockdown, but it used to be an insane 11 frame while standing punish. The fact it's safe now is crazy. 
right? And then I don't think that's while standing one, two. It's some other move. But uh, either way, Leo gets the key charge uh, install off of it now. This used to be kind of informal, but now it looks like they're standardizing it in that Tekken 8 system of uh, giving buffs to characters. Down forward two, whiff punish. Up forward one, one. Back four, KNK four, or, or back four cancel into the KNK move. This is brand new. And again, more mix ups, maybe? The back four used to be a wall bounce, right? So at the wall, Leo used to do back four, and if they canceled, it would go into full crouch, and then you'd have to guess. But now, it looks like you can also elect to go into another stance. Very, very nasty, and I don't want to think about defending against that. Um, what does Pepper BF to say? Let's see, 1-4 goes to K&K stance. We missed a few. Uh, 42. 1-4 goes to K&K stance. We talked about that. Um, unsure of Forster, inputable, likely only on hit. That's true. Azusena also has this only on hit stance transition. So maybe you only get K and K on hit. Uh, if you get it on block, that would be insanely strong, especially if the string jails, like Pe Pepper Beef is saying. Um, new stomp from K and K, this move. More range than the previous one. And wondering again, auto or manual crouch dash. While standing four is safe, used to be minus 12. That's actually really, really good. And the fact that it doesn't knock down anymore makes it a bit nicer. All right. uh, oh, this is up forward one, two. This is up forward one, two. That's what this string is. Cool. Oh, Leo Main's excited about this one. Down forward two, launching, crouching. I thought it was just a whiff punish. Like, Jin is still recovering from the down two here. So I would think that this is a whiff punish more than uh, launching crouchers. But uh, we'll see. If it launches Crouchers, it still it remains one of the most insane down forward twos. Um, we talked about this back for one plus two cancel, very crazy. And then this is a new move. Uh, looks like they're calling it QCF two four. After QCF two, it's a new extension. I see. But yep, QCF two, new extension. Nice. That's a cool little combo change. I think Lily has a few things like that where you crouch dash into a. A new extension, and it's usually used in combos. While standing 1 plus 2 returns to false knockdown instead of wall bounce, right? So this is the old way it used to behave, I believe. Um, way nicer. And I don't think this is guaranteed, right? So while standing 1 plus 2 gave the install. Yeah, no, Jin ducked. Jin ducked here. So after after Leo gets the buff, Jin ducks into 3, 1, 2. I don't think that was counter hit. Cause, but that seems really, really powerful. Uh... Back 312, form of the key charge string, now possible with install buff. Okay, yeah, nothing, no new notes, but that is. Yeah, that is exactly what we have here. Next page. Thank you, Pepperbee, for the detailed notes. I am fumbling the delivery on this, but it's cool. Ball a balcony break. And then what do we have? We have back 1 4 into KNK 1 plus 2. New tornado screw. And this is a new move. Uh, in the notes, it says 1-4, but I was talking to him later, and uh, he thinks it's a down back 2-4. When I asked for the pages, he gave me some extra notes. Very nice. Whoa, what is going on here? Okay. Down back 2-4, heat engager. And uh, because of the heat engage, it probably does chip damage on hit as well. Bro, what is going on with my YouTube? Oh, my goodness. All right. Cool character intro. Very nice. Yep, down back 2 that's a new move. Uh, one plus two or something like that. I feel like Leo had this animation before, but I can't. I can't think of what it is. Heat burst combo. And then this is that key charge string that Leo used to do. Um, now because Leo and Heat, they probably have the install permanently. That's how most of them have worked in Tekken Eight. All right, counter hit CD. Counter hit CD two. Is that what it is? Uh, QCF two. And then while standing four, one plus two Heat Engager. Absolutely. Absolutely insane change, if you ask me. We'll have to see if they make it a launcher heat engager, as in if you spend the heat dash, does Leo get to launch? That would be ridiculous, if that's true. Okay, mid heat smash. Yes? Bro, YouTube is tweaking. Mid heat smash. Very cool. Okay, this is the... Uh, I forgot the input for this move, but uh, it's a high-low. 
counter hit low hits, and Leo gets a guaranteed attack. This is where the heat engager comes from. Back to one plus two. So this move is back one plus four. Just check Pepper Beef notes. Just check the notes of Pepper Beef, VDX. Come on. Guaranteed heat engager. Again, wondering if that heat engager is a launcher because that means back one plus four, if you're already in heat, and then you do the back two, one plus two, and you do a heat dash, will that be a launcher? That is possibly horrifying. This uh, same thing, forward two, four into forward, forward three, but you can hear the heat spend uh, sound right here. There, that's how you know it's a heat move. So it's specific to heat. Um, and this puts a forced mix up in, into the KNK stance into the new stomp, but you can see that purple, right? This is a heat smash. That means out of K and K, Leo has a low launching heat smash. So Leo has two heat smashes. One like Paul's, the low and Kazuya's, and then a mid one out of neutral. That is wild. That's the new string, down back 2-4, and it does heat engage launch, or heat dash launch. Pretty cool combo. Let's check out anything unique here. I don't think there's anything brand new out of this. This appears to be it. That string is now a tornado launcher. Hell sweep extension using the install. And then down two has this huge launch instead of just the small knockdown it used to have in Tekken 7. And then I don't know what is going on with this rage art, man. I'm going to keep it 100%. I don't know what is going on with this Rage Art. Grapple Hook? That caught me so off guard. I know, like, uh, Leo's a Spelunker, so Jesus, that kick is insane. And at least the shoulder looks really cool. With, uh, you know, cinematic camera, Unreal Engine. That's pretty cool. At least it looks good if they're going to do a big one shoulder hit. But yeah. I think uh, Leo looks absolutely ridiculous, especially with all of the mix-up potential. Uh, they've given her so much, like so many different changes, and they're absolutely overwhelming, if you ask me. Like, this is just, this is absolutely crazy how many mix-ups she can go into on hit. Now, if she can't go into the stances on block, that helps a little bit. That helps a little bit, but it's... It's a little Tekken 80, if you know what I mean. Like, a bunch of characters like Jin got 2-4, uh, the 10-frame punish into Crouch Dash. Um, they have this trend they're clearly going for where if you get a punish, you deserve a mix-up, right? So they give you a stance out of it. Um, I think stance offense has its place, but personally, when I look at Tekken, I like the idea that men, all your offense is earned, right? So even if you have frame advantage, um, you have to contend with your opponent uh, sidestepping you have to contend with them parrying or power crushing right um in this case it looks like they with all these forced stance mix-ups off of these uh hit situations you're going to be forced to power crush or rage art or heat burst instead of sidestep or backdash i think you know it's still a game you're playing with uh like risk reward but to me it'd be cool to have movement be a bit more rewarding Again, though, we'll have to test out Leo. We'll have to see what the defensive options are. This is just kind of the trend I think they're showing with Tekken 8's design. Let me know what you think in the comments. Let me know if I missed anything. I think, you know, with Pepper Beef's analysis, uh, we got pretty good coverage, but we could have missed something. So let me know in the comments. Leave a like if you think this is cool. Subscribe to see more, and I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.